leaf blower is, is come to find out probably one of the best pieces of equipment that you can have on a prescribed burn. They work not only well in leaf litter, what they're designed to work in, but they work very well in grassland settings and stuff. So we use them on all types of burn, all types of fuels, uh, work really well. Best thing, best use for a leaf blower is in mop-up phase. What you can do is run the leaf blower along the edge of the fire line. You can knock out anything that's flaming. You can blow embers, piles of grass, cow chips, anything like that, small stuff that it will pick up and it will blow it right back in the, into the black and get it out of there safe and easy and effectively. Also, one of the good things about it is as you're going along, you have something that won't move or needs to burn up. It may sit and smolder for, for several hours. You can hit it with the full force of the winds from that leaf blower increase the rate of combustion and burn that up in 30 seconds to a minute and have it out and gone out of there. So again, there's a lot of good uses for a leaf blower, um, especially mop up. You can also use them for uh, suppression of any kind of spot fires. You can go in and knock down any kind of low back fires, small flank fires. They don't work really good in tall flames, anything like that's real hot or heavy. Make sure anytime you're using the leaf blower, uh, whether you're suppressing a fire or you're mopping up, make sure you're blowing everything back into the black, back into every, something that's already been burnt, so that way you don't spread any embers out into unburned fuel and cause an escape or cause any kind of problems like that. Also, again, make sure you wear eye protection because, again, you are blowing embers, hot stuff, debris can get up in your eyes, so make sure you wear eye protection as well as hearing protection. Also, one of the things you need to watch out for when, when running leaf blower, you can't hear while you're operating it. So if you've got a radio and you're trying to listen for radio traffic or things to do that, you can't hear your radio very well. So make sure you stop and check in every once in a while and see what's going on.